Tesla CEO Elon Musk has been subpoenaed by the US Virgin Islands. The American territory wants Musk to hand over documents relating to the late sex offender Jeffrey Epstein. It's all part of the lawsuit the Virgin Islands has lodged against JP Morgan, accusing it of helping enable sexual abuses by Epstein on Little St. James, a private island he owned there. Lawyers allege that America's biggest bank ignored internal warnings about Epstein for several years before eventually dropping him as a client in 2013. The bank has denied knowledge of Epstein's crimes. According to the Monday court filing, Musk may have been referred to JP Morgan by Epstein. He did not seek to question Musk under oath or implicate him in any wrongdoing. However, the subpoena demanded any documents he has about Epstein's involvement in human trafficking. It also sought any communications between the entrepreneur and JP Morgan about Epstein, as well as between Musk and Epstein. The subpoena was issued on April the 28th and only came to light on Monday, when the Virgin Islands asked to serve Musk by alternative means, because it had been unable to locate and serve him. In a tweet late on Monday, Musk said that the notion that he would listen to financial advice from Epstein was absurd. Referring to Epstein, he said, That cretin never advised me on anything whatsoever. Email exchanges from inside the BBC, they talk about the risk of violating Indian laws. It's easier to rake up the freedom of speech debate but does it give anyone a free pass to knowingly violate the law? America supports India because it needs India's support in return. And India is working with the US because it suits India's interests. This is how geopolitics works. Last night, he diffused a crisis with his defense minister. But today, Netanyahu was confronted with a new problem. His cabinet seems to have rebelled against him. UK is looking at the Indian subcontinent to fill its coffers. That India seems to be negotiating from a position of power, like a partner and not a former colony. The US and Russia are dangerously close to an armed conflict. This year, 2023, New Delhi will be the capital of global diplomacy. For a country as diverse as ours, with 88% of the population illiterate, it was a very big deal to write a constitution, and that too, the world's largest. Meanwhile, if we may, here's a Republic Day gift from India for the BBC. A list of suggestions for the BBC for their upcoming documentaries. Number one. The Kohinoor and the Colonial Loot. Number two, an outdated monarchy and unhealthy obsession with the royals. Number three, racism in 2023. We're waiting.